We gotta do one more idiot check before we leave. We gotta get to the airport a little bit early because Salt Lake City Airport is busy. It's more like the car area was super busy, but Salt Lake City was busy. busy. I'd have to say. Yeah, the airport is one of the busier airports. We gotta go. We gotta hit the road, All right. Jack. Idiot, gotta, idiot um, check, I, we're, I, good. We'll hold it. we're good. All right, idiot check complete. This is kind of funny. Just in case you've ever wondered what you do not bring on an airplane. Fireworks. Seems kind of obvious. Wow, hoverboards now on there. Some of these are like oddly specific. Now we just learned something. It's kind of funny. Oh, you guys are dirty right now. This is the longest I've ever been waiting for an airplane, like without it being delayed. We didn't know how long it was going to take to get through the whole Salt Lake City thing, so. We luckily found this outlet and I'm uploading some videos and photos to the Patreon people, personal videos. But we've kind of taken over this whole little area, our own little forest or garden, if you will. This was a cool trip. It was, CBX was definitely a different type of conference, but I kind of liked the difference because it was more about just kind of hanging out. It was less, you know, chaos and stuff like that. I mean, there was still chaos. It was cool because there was a whole different demographic of YouTubers that we've never really met. You know what's so funny is that we were just here in Salt Lake City. Oh, we're in Salt Lake City. Oh, Utah, I should say. We we're just here in Utah, you know, like two or three weeks ago. And then we came right back. Going home and going right back out. I hope you guys had fun with it because it was interesting. It Allie? was uh, definitely a cool experience. It was like, it was cool because it was something so different. And I, and I like doing that. And I like yeah. connecting with Shaking people things up. To connect with, so I think it's cool. Allie's working on her site right now. So hopefully, fingers crossed. It'll be done very, very soon. We are literally on the last 80%. We're 80% done, maybe 85% done. So I don't want to keep like teasing you guys with that carrot. We already got enough carrots in front of your face. But yeah, she's trying to finish this right now. So I'm gonna stop bothering her and I'm gonna upload all these personal videos to a lot of you guys. And then we gotta get on this plane. You guys recognize this place? The only thing that's different is that, oh no, he's over there. There's always an Amazon plane right over there. Do you see it? There's an Amazon plane all the time. That's how I know I'm home. But we are back in Tampa. There's a ghost train. They finally got this thing taken care of. Every time I walk, I don't usually take the train because I like walking, especially if you're sitting. But this is usually under construction. And they finally, wait, they finally freaking finished it. Melissa dropped off the pups and we just go home, order a pizza and just relax. We did it, babe. You did it. Oh, you see this? Yeah. Marley's just waiting. All right, get ready to plug your ears. All right, there she is. Let's go. Oh, hi. Hi, Lazy. You didn't even want to come out? Watch, watch it. Watch, watch out. Okay, so. Marley, want a cookie? Hey, want cookie? Hey. Look it, you want a cookie? Where are they all? Oh, Marley always backs up. Wait, come here. I have them, they're right here. So we get the big one, Marley, up here. I'm knocking the camera down. Right here. <laughs> she got it though. Oh, hey, welcome back. Okay, never mind. She's like, nope, don't care. I'm gonna rip up your brand new carpet now. Ricky got lots of gifts apparently. Replacement grill, because the other one from the tour. What? All it, all these things? No, this was replaced because it broke on the uh, the power went out too. That looks like. Oh, awesome! But yeah, the grill was replaced because on our last trip, it got destroyed and it was not my fault. I did break it inadvertently. Oh, I went to like put it down and oh look at how the you like all that uh, junk mail? No, I wish it was. I literally did come home to a birthday gift for my little sister, so she was watching the. Uh, the, uh, the girls. So I'm gonna see what this is. Oh, this is so cool. Aww. Little coasters. How cool. It's so thoughtful. These are all like pictures from our road trip. These are so cool. My sister is pretty. What? That's awesome. like the coolest gift ever. That is awesome. How awesome. Cool. That's super That's nice. So cool. She, and she watched the dogs. You get a gift and she watched the dogs. I know. Gotta get a sister. Thank you, Melissa. What are you doing, huh? 
Is everyone finally coming to hang out? Hey, Mamar. Hey. Hi. Are you happy? Yeah? Okay, so that's a good thing that you're happy that we're home. I'm very thankful that Carl and the rest of CVX got us out there and to hang out and you know just chill with everybody. Right now, it was a different experience. Like it was, it was really, in a, as crazy as it sounds, it was um, way more relaxing because I think because it was, it was smaller and it was just fairly very family driven. So it felt like a, the families could just kind of like chill because everyone was in the same spot. And everyone was babysitting each other's kids. It was it was so cool. It kind of reminded me of Vlogger Fair how you know you had a lot more personal time and I don't know we I think too why we enjoyed it is because it was different change it was change of scenery and it was in the mountains, that was super cool. But also the fact of the matter that um, there's a lot more, like I said, personal time with these people that we actually have never met before. A lot, most of the people that came to see us at CBX are people that they're like, I couldn't, I can't travel to Florida or I can't travel to they LA, can. to uh, New Jersey or anything of that sort. So it was kind of cool because these are all new CTFX series that we got to see except for one girl, um, her name, what was her name? I think her name was Kimber. I'm almost 100% positive her name is Kimber. She drove 17 hours to come and see us and a couple other people at CVX, which I thought was like the craziest, coolest thing. She got done with her exams and drove all the way out to see us at CVX in Utah. So that was like the coolest dedication. And let me tell you, that is like, that made us feel so good. We know that we're not as big as some of these other YouTubers, but it's still cool to see the amount of love that's not only for us, but just for everyone else out there. It, we, you get to really see a different side of this community. It's not just the people behind the keyboard and behind the comments. You get to see these real life people that get to share their stories with us just as much as we get to share our stories with them. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna go enjoy some pizza. I just realized I walked into the bedroom and the sound just dampens because it's not so echoey. I don't ever notice if you can tell in the videos, but I promise tomorrow will be a completely normal video, less traveling, actually get home, we can hang out, we're gonna go get Mr. D back, and hopefully Rika won't be too pissed off by tomorrow, so maybe she'll be a little cool. I think we can buy our love with some, uh, maybe some treats or something like that. I hear Come here. Okay, never mind. Can I say hi? Do you want to tell him what happened on the airplane? That's actually kind of funny. There was a guy next to Charles that was a total jerk to uh, the airline employees, yeah. which really sucked. But there was also, behind me, there was this lady who got separated from her husband, and she was an elderly lady. And there was a woman who was sitting next to her and said, hey, is that your husband over there? Long story short, basically, she offered her seat up to this woman's husband. Everyone was still boarding the plane, and a lady just like, was a total jerk to her and was like, you know what, you could do that later and let us sit in our seats. And the lady goes, I'm so sorry, I was just trying to do something nice for this woman. She's obviously scared, I wanted her husband to and sit. And then tell her how she dropped the mic. Yeah, she, I, she wanted her husband to sit with her. And then she was like, well, you know, you could, I, I, basically she said, you could do that later, like wait until we're seated. Snobby. And the lady goes, well, you know, you could be really nice, you're kind of being rude. She said it a different way. I'm not gonna get into great detail because it wasn't there that. There were more expletives yeah. involved. She was trying to do the right thing and the lady in the line was a total turd. Needless to say, the people next to me were like, wow, she was a total bleep bleep. At the end of the day, the woman and her husband got sit next to each other. And the the other woman, lady, who was super nice, giving up her seat, was victorious. But She basically put her in her place in front of everyone. Yeah, in front of everyone. And that's the thing about being rude on an airplane, guys. Just don't do it because once you're done, you have to sit down next to everyone involved. I so. mean, she was really rude. I didn't yeah. go into full detail about what she said. She was, This was genuinely not like, hey, do you mind just waiting just a few minutes? Oh, my legs really hurt. Is it okay if you just wait? It was It was a lot more rude. There's a lot more detail into it that I'm not explaining. My guy was sitting next to me, obviously. He had his headphones on, which is, you know, I totally understand, you know, you go by, you're not paying attention, you're watching a movie, you got your headphones that on. That happened to me twice on the plane, yeah. but still. It does, and then, the lady asked, I remember, he, she asked everybody if anyone wanted something to drink. Yep. And I kind of looked at him to kind of indicate like, hey, she's talking to you. And he wasn't paying attention, which, you know, I've done a million times. Oh, yeah. However, the difference was he it's started like getting... like, hey, I'm, hey, you know, you know, I didn't get a sorry. drink. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Do you mind if you got me a drink when you have time? He kind of yelled at the lady to come back. 
and was just like, blah, 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 can, can we not do this right now? Like, after she's like apologizing, trying. Long story short. Right, guys, and the truth is, the way that he just goes, blah, 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 literally his reaction, his actual facial expression, and his like head movement. It's really not an exaggeration. Like that. I swear. It was not I was, an like, exaggeration. I was sitting behind, because I was right behind Charles, and I looked at him, and like the guy next to me, because we laughed a little bit when the lady was a jerk before and we saw that and he goes what is going on like, i have no idea <laughs> it was an interesting flight luckily unfortunately i didn't get to film that because that would have been a blasty blast to show you guys lesson that we learned on today's video is be nice be on an airplane be kind in general especially on an airplane because when you're a jerk people are going to probably make fun of you and then you have to sit well, next to them for several hours it's and it's unnecessary too so i think a lot of people are tired, exhausted, and usually on their way home, so they're just, you know, like, just be nice, man. It's easier to be nice than it is to be mean. You have to come up with mean thoughts. I want you guys, if you have a horror story of being on a plane or something like that with bad, a bad, I don't know, whether service or next to a jerk of a person, tell me in the comments. There are blogs about this stuff, and I want to see if you guys have some funny ones, because I can go online and Google them, and I know they're funny. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Love you.